Hey guys, so today's project is this bag which I made for my car. It has a tie that goes around the headrest. It holds up to six water bottles. Um, it's perfect, multifunctional, but as a disclaimer, I have to say I did not take some video towards the end, so I don't have step-by-step -step towards the end, but I am able to show some old videos and talk you through it. So first of all, the measurements of my fabric. This is the standard bag shape that I need to make. I do show you the measurements, but just so you know, this fabric is already folded in half. So the actual length of it is 42 inches. So these are the measurements. Corners are cut out two by two inches, 12 inches in height. And you do this for the main, the lining, and the stabilizer. Then you have those side pockets. These rectangles measure 70, 17 and a half inches by seven inches in height. And it attaches to the triangle side pockets that will have elastic pulled through. And these measure nine inches by four inches and seven inches on the side. You will need a small piece of elastic. This is only done in the main fabric. These are the pieces you should have, front and back exterior, main fabric, lining, and stabilizer. The first step is doing the side pocket with the elastic and assembling the pieces together. So you have four pieces here. The same process is done to all four pieces. You serge, fold over, and stitch. In this case, that small pocket is used to hold the elastic and to be pulled through. On the other ones, it's just, on the rectangles, it's just a nice finish. Then you take all of your pieces, one, two, three, four, you line them up together to make one big circle. So then you will see the, what that looks like next. The main fabric, this is the bag. The bag is going to put right sides facing together and you can go ahead and do the side stitch and then turn it right side out and add your exterior bag or you can finish the whole bag and add your exterior bag. It can be done either way. So this is just the fabric with the sides stitched already. I go ahead and once I take all of those four exterior pieces and loop them, I go ahead and just kind of slide them over. I am going to do a horizontal stitch and I am going to do vertical stitches right at the end where the elastic ends. And that is enough to hold it in place. I also did one right at the mid center of the bag. Then you have to prep your lining with stabilizer. Now I don't have too much video after this point, but I'm going to try to talk you through it. These are my lining pieces and I need to add stabilizer to them. So I have stabilizer already cut to the same dimensions as my lining and it should look like this. This is another project bag that I had done. I have this video from it. You can tell it's the same shape and I, stitch on the stabilizer. In this case, I did more lines. In this project, I actually just simplified it and did vertical lines. And this is what it looks like. This is what the lining should look like once the stabilizer is open. The next step is assembling the entire thing together, putting all the pieces together. I have old video from another bag I made. It's the same process. You take your main bag and you take your lining and you slide them inside each other so that the right sides are facing together and then you take your strap you're going to add it where you would like to place it clip it into place and then you're going to stitch all the way around leaving a small opening to turn it right side out and then you go ahead and you top stitch all the way around your bag and the bag is done in this case i recycled some old straps for this project and I didn't, because I don't have video, I can't show you, but it's a black strap. I just cut it out from another bag and just added it on. But this is what the bag should look like. It is multifunctional. It works amazing for holding all of our water bottles, keeping us organized in the car and clutter free. I'm so sorry, so much video is missing, but I thought I would share the project.